Hey folks, welcome to my review, brought to you by me, Genesis. Yep, yeah, yeah, I got a name, because for some reason my pather, every time he goes out with his buddies, his buddies are like, you need to name your boat, bro. Yeah, anyway, so, uh, I'm a Wilderness Systems Tsunami 145. Now, as you can see, I'm equipped with a rudder. Now, the rudder's optional, but if you like gliding through some rock gardens, you want to be skirting some obstacles virtually hands-free, then you might want one. Anyways, it seems more and more people are getting excited about long kayak camping trips. So if that's you, or even if you want to just paddle for a day, So I'm designed at 14 foot 6 inches in length, and I measure 25 and a half inches at my widest point. What? Come on, your ex-wife had bigger hips than that and you didn't mind. Alright, so anyways, I have a well-defined V-hole with chines on the side. Now, this adds both advantages and potential disadvantages depending on where you take me. Since I'm designed as a touring kayak, I do my best work in calmer waters, like in a lake or class 1 or 2 rivers. However, <laughs> I do have my wild side, and I can handle a bit more if you, uh, you know how to handle me. Case in point, <laughs> my pather got a little overambitious and tried to navigate backwards through a nasty ledge hole. Now, I love my paddler. I mean, his, his name is Adam. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of no, the secrets no, no, of Castle Grace. Not that Adam. This Although that was a great cartoon. Ah, the nostalgia is killing me. Anyway, <clears throat> focus. But anyway, so he got us broached up against a rock, and the power of the water kept us pinned against that rock. Because of the up curve to the rock side we were pinned against, he couldn't lean me downstream, which would have been the preferred action and allowing the water to pass underneath my hull. So the river then began pulling down on my upriver side and attempting, which was totally unacceptable on its first date, to window shade me, or, or in other words, capsize me by pushing my upriver side underwater. Okay, so there were two exit routes. One would have been to paddle forward, curl around the rock, and point the nose downriver and effectively ride the rapid out without incident. Now, now that was my idea. I would have loved to go that route, but here was the problem. The better half of me was on the back side of the rock, making forward motion nearly impossible. So, so my pather, uh, he, he, he began to push us backwards. And so I, I said, what, what are you doing? I, is this what you want for us? You, you, you want to see a separation? Because that's what's fixing to happen. In, anyways, so he started pushing us backwards, but in the direction we were forced to go, it was a nasty ledge hole. As I felt the release from the rock, I sensed the dip of my rudder into the wave hole, and I immediately knew we were going to ride this out backwards. Not long after the stern submerged in the hole, we rolled and were now taking the rapid backwards and upside down. My paddler, cool as hurl, but lacking skill, pulled skirt and swam. <sighs> okay, so going straight through the water is an advantage of mine due to my keel. But you get me turned sideways in moving water, things can get tricky real quick. I have two sizably large dry compartments, which are separated from the cockpit by foam bulkheads. This serves two very important purposes. One being a great deal of storage for all your gear. And I'd say you could easily camp for a week with all the gear you could put in me. Now the second important advantage is that in the case you roll and swim, I will not sink, but I'll stay afloat so that you can retrieve me very easily. And the plus side is you'll have a lot less water to pump out. Okay, so my cockpit is 35 and 3 quarters front to back, and then of 20 inches in width. I'm confident that you can enjoy several hours of comfort in the Airface Pro 3 adjustable seats. I mean, they are the top of the line seats for kayaks, and well, I am the top of the line best selling kayak, so it seems fitting that I should have one. I mean, Dan in the 140 department, he got one, and I've, I've got a good six inches on him, but, well, anyway. Did I mention my deck height is 15 inches? That differs by an inch from my smaller counterpart, the 140, who boasts only 14 inches in deck height. Also, I think it is a must to have a place to keep your drink. So I have a nice bottle holder mounted under the deck, close to the cockpit, so you can easily secure your favorite beverage. Please. No alcohol. Your beer farts aren't helping our relationship any. And you know what? The last time you ripped one of those off, you had a spray skirt on, and it was zipped up. Ugh. Okay. 
Did you notice the awesome looking mesh deck bags on top? Two of them guys. I must say I'm pretty proud, and I'm certain you'll get a lot of use out of them. They're great for storing snacks, sunglasses, sunblock, paddling gloves, waterproof USB speakers, a two inch Asian boy to help you fold your Kelty Rainfly. You get the idea. Okay, so let's talk about my turnability. Since my keel helps keep me straight, and the fact that I have 14 feet of it, it's gonna take me a little bit to turn around. You're just gonna have to have a little bit of patience. And in terms of speed, I'm somewhere between the tortoise and the hare, probably closer to the hare. Since it's probably already public knowledge, I, I, I was outrun by a Necky Zor Sport one time, but I'm pretty sure I had polyethylenitis that day. Look, I carry you around for hours at a time, and occasionally you have to carry me. So I have some real nice molded grip handles to ease up on the portage, but come on, it still seems like a bit of a one-sided relationship here, right? Alright, so by now you're probably tired of looking at me and I'm tired of talking to you, so it's time to be real and keep it 100. I'm a great boat. Strong, built to last, with tons of features to enjoy. No, oh, and after my paddler popped back up out of the water, I was right there by him. I looked at him, he looked at me, and we literally hugged it out through the next rapid. So thanks for watching, my friends.